What's up, guys? This is the Broferman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we're hoping to destroy yet another Ottoman army, forcing them back towards Ankara and destroying yet another central pillar in Ottoman power. Once Ankara falls, then it is only a matter of time before the Ottoman Empire is replaced by a truer Muslim Empire, a greater Muslim Empire. A Muslim Empire which is ready and willing to fulfill its obligation to spread the word of Allah throughout Europe. But of course, first we must knock out the Ottomans. Only a matter of time, we're slowly ramping up the pressure and they are not going to be able to hold back the tide. And the enemy are up on the, probably going to be up on that top hill, so let's deploy our guns. Deploy my elite infantry. No, not you. Advance to sweep them off the hill with musket fire, my Sikhs. <coughs> Going to follow up the middle. Hindus and dervishes on the right flank. That makes swordsmen and dervishes on the left. Bolster the left with some pikes. Bowmen follow my battle line. Let's get my camels together. And keep my Kizilbashi together. Well, keep them together, there's only one unit. Awesome. Let's go take that hill. That's why you don't rely on group moves like that. Especially when I'm dragging them way out of position. Well, that's quite out of position. I'm aware that we've got camels on the left. After my general, my gunners may focus on. Well, I was going to say focus on this left flank, but I don't think it's actually that can be that much of a problem. We might have to be a bit careful because we've got two units of melee troops. Charge, bolster them with pikes to finish the combat quicker. Push my melee troops up fast. Okay, these men are gonna halt to get some breath back. There they are, they need to get stuck in. You men go for the Bashi Bazooks, because my because Bashi cavalry will be able to support you. Bashi Bazook units being pushed back. So now our blanking units can continue their flank a bit more aggressively. Just keep pushing everyone up. How goes the other flank? Yeah, those Bashi Bazooks are going down fast. Pikes have routed. Get my dervishes over into the centre. My cavalry. Uh, the bashis are shattered. So keep pushing. My, I'm counting on my centre to kind of not be that involved. My pikemen, I might push towards their camels. And allow my camels the opportunity to advance into the rear. Cavalry hit the Janissary Musketeers. These Janissaries, they're unhappy with the way things are. Hindu Musketeers charge in to support the attack. Yeah, it looks like they are responding by just smashing into my line, which... If that is your desire. I 
you men engage the Feline Musketeers. So Feline Musketeers are no better than Militia. See the flank sort of getting bogged down. But I'm kind of counting on my advancing melee troops to help thin things out a bit. Let's get my Seek Musketeers to push up so they can hit these Feline Musketeers in the rear. Break. You chaps push up. Both you men go after the pikes. Let's keep my cavalry go after the archers and my Hindu musketeers. Ooh, this is a dodgy combat. Get some camels in. It's a big old warlock of enemy troops here. Bring up my general, fire it all off. There comes the camel nomads. Storming into the rear. Excellent, these Hindu musketeers can also charge on the flank. You chase down the archers, get the pikemen in. There we go. Suddenly these Ottoman troops are suddenly a lot more isolated than they would have us believe. Meanwhile, there is the Ottoman commander. You can have your fire wheel on if you want to stay fleeing for good. Actually, you men can intercept them. Troops engaged, you men go for the camel nomads. Actually, let's send all of these guys over to fight this central block. Then my commander can engage. They're currently confident. In comes everyone. Pulling troops aside. Because Obashi are doing great to hold them off as long as they have. Oh, knocked them flying. They just got knocked straight back. General will be fall will be billeted by my ground troops. By my melee troops, I should say, not my ground troops. Seat musketeers commit. Yeah, the rot has started. Broken, broken, broken. So now it's all down to these camel nomads. So I could try a shot with my guns to finish them off if that was deemed worthwhile. But in general, no, we've we've just really knackered that force. And I don't want to chase them down because I want their depleted troops to go back to the capital. I want them to occupy the space where full garrison troops would otherwise be. And you saw, they just pulled everyone back to the city. Yep, their agents are also pulling back. Oh, how very useful of you to go down here to the school. Must be aware that we do own Georgia, which we may have to defend at some point. But for now, my sights are very, very, very much set on... Europe. And we do have a minor war. Well, we're still at war with the United Provinces, so that means the Italian peninsula is ripe for the taking. Should we spread across North Africa, which we will. We don't necessarily want to push against the Prussians and the Russians yet. So, some upset in Jerusalem, but you're all, you're all buildings. Let's keep the upgrades going. Good, we're not bothered about this chap here. You, Mr. Desai, advance on to Cairo. Yeah, we've got a lot of time to wait before... Well, not a huge amount of time, but we do have time to wait before we get... Uh, before we get steam engines. 
Army Staff College here at Punjab. Good, you've got rid of your resistance. Well, your religious unrest. All good. Srinagar is about to be good. Although they're on the verge, actually. Make sure. Make sure that it is gone. Maroon still has some. I made a bad. Doesn't have any. Ah, uh, yes, you're. Gurkha's coming down to join this force. This army can embark. And then we're going to immediately sail them up to ba uh, Basra. Let's get this navy out of the way. So they don't crash into each other. Because the all. All ships take the shortest and most direct route. Good. So first of all, you men. I probably want you to actually... So, well, this is a proper fun army, so you're going to replace them. I want my fun army to get to the Mediterranean coast. You men are going to take position here in Yerevan. And you do have the ability to recruit... Uh, no pikemen, but Felayin, you might get Israeli here. Yes, she will. Excellent. Okay, so you two will also join here in the central, well, in the eastern Mediterranean. Because we do want to, well, I would like to send two armies to attack Naples and create a front here to draw enemy troops. And we are probably, well, we will, want to keep our recruitment going here in terms of our navy we will need control of the eastern Mediterranean and the Black Sea to prevent Russia and Prussia from attacking our holdings here our agents are continuing to cross the uh, across the North African coast okay let's try and recruit a handful more units for you let's get an elephant musketeer unit Two Indian mercenaries. Uh, another Kizilbashi, then another Hindu. Maybe get a bow unit. Bow units aren't terrible. Not the most useful, but they're not terrible. Okay. Ultimately, though, I think we've pretty much upgraded everything we want to in... In, uh... In India. So that's going to be a trade ship. Trade fleet fully upgraded. We will want Let's keep recruiting because we want to keep we want to increase our colonial holdings as we get become at war with people. Although no one not currently at war with anyone here or in Straight to Madagascar, because it's only Genoa that owns this one. Swapping over ships here at the Ivory Coast. Okay, good. So, you... Deposit your troops. You men make your way to a Mediterranean port. Exactly the same... Actually, you're going to... Okay, right. We may want to position some armies to defend against an enemy attack. So, for example, here is the natural choice. Probably want to try and build a fort here, maybe. But yes, we're going to want to upgrade our naval infrastructure so that we do maintain that control. Max recruiting here. You're pushing towards Egypt. You are replenishing. In terms of infrastructure, you're all... Actually, it's... Okay, good. We've done a good amount of stuff here. In the Americas... Again, the Americas are kind of in a holding pattern because we're not overly worried about what they may do yet. I mean, it's tempting to slowly build some fortifications. At least here, in Arona maybe down here because we are aware of the fact that the enemy wants to take these territories and we have a military gunners barracks here in Paramaribo so we can recruit or sh may be able 
Oh, no actual good troops. Okay, maybe cancel the fortifications because we can't recruit decent colonial armies until we take somewhere like Caracas. Can't recruit them in Charleston either. I mean, as we've got this, we can upgrade it. And in Savannah, we're going to represent hiring of native auxiliaries at least. Good. Okay, but one thing we're definitely going to want to do is, ooh, first of all, upgrade these fellows. I missed that one. Good. Two armies within spitting distance of Ankara, and actually, we yeah, all our agents are moving forward. You siege the city, and then bring you in to just attack, because it's going to be a pitch battle. Let's take Ankara, let's rebuild her institutions, let's destroy the institutions we don't want. Then next turn we're going to push on to Cairo, and that will be the end of the Ottoman Empire. And we're going to continue to push across North Africa, and use that as a launch pad to invade Southern Europe. I am expecting war with Prussia and Russia fairly imminently. But in the meantime, we will focus on becoming the predominant Islamic power. We're going to do that by fire and sword. Advance, wrap around the flanks. I'm quite okay with deploying my infantry on the flanks rather than in a defensive position behind my battle line when I'm feeling a bit more aggressive because generally I've got good enough of a steer on my troops to know when I am and aren't asking them to hold in an impossible situation. So for example, and well I'd like to I'd like to think I've got a bit of a a bit of an idea now. When I say okay, these infantry hold because they have support coming or there's no support on the way. I've got a bit more of an understanding about the feasibility of that. Because I'm actually just going to counter charge because they can't form square anyway. Enemy guns on the right flank, but they will be mopped up. Send the Hindu warriors in to make sure those fellows die. Advancing my troops around the flank with my cavalry. You're all going to be exactly the same as this unit. Hindu warriors, hack them up. So let's push you man up to the middle here. Just keep pushing, push aggressively. Don't give them an easy option to dig in and bombard and do damage. We know their camels are here, so let's draw them into action. Push the flank, we can dislodge this giant stream musketeer unit. We're bombarding the bejeez out of that artillery unit. Pivot, pick new targets for my guns. You men advance to threaten their flank. You men are going to be in a, in a position to engage the giant stream musketeers, so fire at will. Or form reload and fire will. Need to keep pushing because we've just got carcass shot coming down. Yeah, it's still doing damage. Hello, more. S these are skirmish cavalry. They're gonna have a big, big shock. That's our battle line formed up, ready to withstand the camel nomads. Those skirmishes have hit. 
hit my line. Cavalry, engage the artillery. Melee infantry, advance up to the top of the hill. Suddenly, they've realised, ah, we're actually under attack now. Bulls. You're firing by rank into those men there, not my ideal targets. Charge down the hill. Once we've routed the other gun team. Push them forward. Bashi bazooks are not going to do super well. Native Lance hit the Nomad, Sipahi hit the Semini. My Native Lancers should do a good enough amount of damage on the charge. So you men can keep going. See here we're engaging them with musketry, but now we are going to break out. We have the superiority. Swarm them. Fire a volley. Ooh, that didn't work. Quite the opposite. The Seek Warriors actually very much did not like that volley. A few men could mop up those fellows. That would be incredibly useful. Sipahi, get into the town. Native Lancers get over here. My guns attack ground here to lob shells into the back of this combat. Starting to see some of the enemy break in here. New men form square. Dervishes advance. Dervishes advance. Janus you must units just completely flanked. So even though dervishes aren't necessarily the best unit, they're surrounded. Oh, Mamelukes on the flank. Should I get you guys over here? New men charge into the rear here. You men can charge the Janissaries, get my Hindu Musketeers to advance. This is going to get bloody. And my Gurkhas do not care. My Sikh Warriors are back as well. So you men charge. My General's up here at speed. My Heavy Cavalry. How about you? running into us. Excellent. Got a few charges off here. So suddenly this looks... It went from being very advantageous for the enemy to actually being quite advantageous to us. Oh, Pokemon are here, eh? These men push on to this enemy concentration which my it's, oh actually it was it is it was it oh, it was native lancers that charged in here still though it looks like we've got them surrounded these men are fighting on every flank generals new fire will off the kizilbashi cavalry is upset at this turn of events They are broken. We stay forming square. Charge the camel nomads. Get some support over on the flank, but apart from that. I did have some pikemen over here, didn't I? Sure I did. Oh well.
my heavy cavalry attacking their heavy cavalry. My Islamic swordsmen can charge their Islamic swordsmen. These janissaries of whole held out. Full route of the enemy here. Focus on the Mamelukes because the Zamindari horsemen, the Zaman, Zamindari pikemen have routed. How about your thing? It's pretty much everyone except for this unit of horsemen. Oh, these are the reinforcements. I, I, I see. Well, didn't help. Ankara is now ours. The city is taken. How about you? And technically, we won the campaign, but we will be continuing because this is a world domination. So let's keep upgrading. We're going to build the dancing school and we are going to build fortifications because Ankara is potential frontier town you don't really have to do anything because actually we don't care about what those troops anymore they will not take the city and what I want to try and do is get my agents across here but the only way to do it is to infiltrate the city you infiltrate the city and then exit on the other side so we gain some intelligence of what's going on beyond our borders. But you, good sir, you're out of movement, but you will next turn try build a fortification. We don't want this dockyard. We can build you into a craft workshop. Actually, how close are you? It's next turn before you can attack. Uh, two turns, actually, before we can attack Cairo. In which case then killing you might have been useful, but you're still not going to do anything. Upgrade the roads. Cool. All my men have got orders. Upgrade you. Everyone's replenishing. Everyone's doing stuff. Oh, oh Konya. So I'm going to destroy Konya, although you will probably prevent that destruction. But in general, we have no massive need for more research right now. Particularly, once we get hold of steam engines, we're going to have a lot more things to spend money on than we can actually action at any time. Yeah, my agents continue to push. And as we advance through the Balkans, that's when we're going to start needing to provide more religious agents. Yeah, Spain's aware of the fact that we own Savannah and they don't like it. Yes, Prussia. Ooh, I don't like Prussia's naval expansion. Yeah, let's build build some fleets in the eastern Mediterranean. Let's protect ourselves that way, chiefly. They're gathering in Cairo. They know the storm is coming. They're going to keep doing raiding, but I don't care. Their raiders, their raiders cannot stop us. And their agents just doing good work spreading our will amongst the people. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. 5,600 for trade, yes. I suspect they will be worth much more than that in the long term. But yes, southern Italy is calling for an invasion. If we could push up and take Italy and then call a ceasefire, that would be super useful. Let's give you an order to come straight all the way up here. Okay, construction, Yerevan. Good, let's get some get some infantry on the go. Fleets have arrived, so you are here to take over trade from this battle fleet. This battle fleet is recovering to India. And this new battle fleet is taking its place. Excellent. 
As the other fleet arrives, Marker. Path blocked. By you, it is not. So you're gonna go to Is Izmir. Let's rebuild this dock. You try and infiltrate. Ah, oh, they, sh <gasps> they shot my agent. You men are going to... You may require some reconfiguring. Got a lot of... A lot of skirmish cavalry there. Let's get you some Sapahi and another gun team. You require use somewhere. You will go to Ankara. Good, let's upgrade this. Let's pull me school to the tavern. Let's upgrade the mine. One more turn till we get this new dockyard upgraded. Keep upgrading the ports. You're one turn away from being able to take Cairo. In which case, yeah, you're gonna you're going to Tunis, you are going to Tripoli. You get a long walk up to Algiers. Yeah, more recruitment in India, which is excellent. Fundamentally, the bulk of my forces need to move against, or need to be ready to move against the Ottomans. You can build a fort, and you can upgrade it to an artillery fort, we can upgrade this town here. The roads are being upgraded, does it upgrade Sinop to a trade port. So here we can recruit two sloops to occupy the trade ports. At Ankara we will recruit one unit of levy to occupy Antalya. Let's upgrade the cotton warehouse, upgrade Batman to be a smiths. Ankara is going to really start to pop from our industry production. There we go. It's, oh, <laughs> it's a lot. That's a big boost in industry wealth. Good. Traits gained. Tired of the people. God, he's only even, he hasn't even got here yet. Dear, oh dear. Okay, so in India. You've still got stuff being recruited though, haven't you? Yeah, four. So when this thing arrives. One, two, three, four. Okay, you need one more slot. You've got one more thing, space you can recruit, and that will be some melee troops here at Pondicherry. Yep, it's all good stuff. I want to save you to upgrade to a steam dry duck. You're ready to go sailing. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that's not a very super awesome fleet except for a six second one second rate which we're not interested in taking so just fight them we lost a bunch of ships but that's okay you men secure the port so that you men can get over here to take the node So green crew and admiral. You guys can't get any sick rates for a while. First rates for six turns, I should say, but let's try and get some anyway. Your Majesty. Uh, yeah, you gonna go up. You're gonna go to here. It's gonna take a few turns to relocate, yes. but it's gonna be necessary. I may want to prepare some armies to wait here and cross up the wilderness to attack Astrakhan or Ufa to open up a front against the Russians should they deem it necessary. Three turns till we get steam engine. 
That's when things are going to get spicy. A lot of, lots of ships there. Yeah, we got some, we got some visibility on what's going on behind the front lines. But we're going to need a lot more men. A lot more men. A lot more men pretty much everywhere. So this is where I might want to start fortifying my coast. Fortifying my coast hard. No, Ottoman, no! See, I can't fight these myself. I'm rubbish unless it's there's an there's a particular imperative. So the Ottoman agents, yeah, they're on the move. Their army may, well, they're up to the north. They may, they're too near two very large armies of mine. Yeah, this kind of start, it's starting to feel like we are, even though we're currently at war with quite a significant power, it feels like we're stepping towards the true war, the proper war. The war between us and Prussia and Russia. Got another thuggy. So you men will embark with the army. Your Majesty. Sir, up here, so, let's base. Okay, first of all, let's sort out our construction options. Keep these things. Recruiting is always useful to keep them going. Can't do anything about the cloth mills. Syria gets metal roads. Yeah, once we declare war on, or well, maybe not, we, not, we might not declare war, but once war is declared against those major powers, things are gonna get tricky fast. Let's send you to the dry dock. Build the dry dock four turns to so get four turns worth of shipbuilding out of it. Uh, you could send your first ship. I mean, to be honest, we can use our navy. We can use naval superiority to prevent these chaps from being able to cross the strait. But for now, we're going to keep upgrading it just in case. Steam dry dock. Okay, actually, what I might do is upgrade you to a naval hospital now. Then when steam dry dock becomes available, we upgrade Antalya to be the steam dry dock. Lots of good recruitment across the board. Let's take you and you out so we can promote them both to admirals. They will both go for... No, not admirals, flagship, fifth rates. Get two fourth rates. Or fifth rates. There we go. Path blocked. Jeez, they're recruiting like mad to try and keep themselves alive. Okay, you're going north. Kayseri, be a craft workshop. Good, 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 good. 15,000 we got to play with. Not a huge amount. But my saw. Fortify. And what I wanted to do was go to Hyderabad to the north. General's bodyguard. Obviously, we have no limit. So let's recruit four general's bodyguards. We'll dispatch them to Satara, Mysore, Hyderabad, and Calcutta to occupy or to order the creation of new garrisons. You are still waiting for more ships. So that fleet that's currently sat on station is a bit vulnerable. Although I could just support them with this half-built fleet. Get out there. So then let's get building. Let's save that. 5,000 should be enough to do what we want to do. Let's attack Cairo and destroy the Ottoman Empire once and for all. 
then soon we will have steam engines, we will be producing untold wealth from the continent, and we will pour that into a military machine, the likes of which the world has never seen. First of all, we have to kill our old enemy. It's more of a tra traditional battlefield army, this one is. So it's using most of our infantry to push the left. An infantry contingent to push the right. Melee infantry to go through the center. Split the cavalry up to go around the flanks. My general plus the elephants are going to go through the center. Sipahi on the left. Awesome. Okay, they're all on the left. This unit, though. Storm up and secure the high ground. Hindu warriors advance into the town. You men storm up and secure the high ground with the support of my skirmish cavalry. Let's get the war elephants and my general into the centre. My sipahi out wide. My gunners, I don't know who they're engaging first, but go for... This hand mortar block. Yeah, we may engage these Azars with hand to hand combat, but it's okay. They will not stand. They must advance and knock out these mortar garrisons pretty quick. Push them. Push them and then we'll knock out the guns. Fire will off for you. Limber my guns up just in case they'll they get into trouble. Advance my melee troops up to the bottlenecks in the town. There go the enemy. Fall back, although you've broken, but that should not be a lasting phenomenon. Try, limp, try wander my guns over to here, but. It, means they're going to be out of commission for the rest of the session. Keep on pushing. Engage the Azar. Ooh, these Hindu musketeers are engaging. You men are going after the horsemen. Let's try run around the flank. Although pikemen, yeah, they're not going to do necessarily quite so well. Get my Hindu warriors in there. Ignore the Israeli. My elephants down the inside. There we go. My Hindu warriors came back. Get back up here and form your gun line. I want to try and break these janissaries so we can free up the right flank a bit more. You men need to run over here. Pretty sharpish. Uh -oh, war elephants. Let's 
skirmish cavalry are do, 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 here. Run! Charge that new of Delhi horsemen. Clear the way for the war elephants. War elephants go for the garrison Islamic swordsmen. Channel's bodyguard get over here as well. Whoa, I see spikes. Gurkhas, clear those defences. Kizilbashi retreat. Oh, Zamandari horsemen retreat. Gurkhas pursue them. Get this fat unit through the spear, that garrison is a real unit in the face. Push up my defensive line because it's not gonna be getting super involved. War elephants, withdraw. You might hit the camel, no man's not necessarily the sharpest to play, but to be honest, everyone is freaking out right now. Drive the point home. My guardsmen charge all the garrison is already there. general up here. Yeah, my war elephants are doing a number on the Janissary Grenadiers. Attack the hand waters. <laughs> the Cairo Janissaries have suddenly gone, wait a minute. If we don't do something soon, this war's going to be over before we're here. Engage the Azar. You might engage that Azar. These infantry units form up ready. This infantry needs to form up with the Musketeers. My general and the war elephants form up over here as well. There we go, the Azar have been got rid of. Cavalry out of the way. Cairo Janissaries look cool. Charge the Gurkhas in. Charge my infantry in. They fire their volley. You hit them, you hit them, you hit that Janissary unit. You can engage that unit. Good. This unit of Azar is currently unordered. But we, this is why we've got Sabahi charging in. Because from memory, Kari Janissaries look pretty cool, but I didn't actually remember them being super duper sturdy in the fight. Which, judging by this this result, based a lot. Although we, we did deliberately attack everywhere at once. Excellent. So the enemy forces have been pushed, fleeing into the hills. Nice. But that is Cairo taken, and that is. The Ottoman Empire destroyed. Only one man left alive to tell the tale. Excellent. Let's repair the buildings. We're not going to be able to replenish with that amount of money. But we'll get a good way there. Let's immediately run 
cavalry unit up to Alexandria and immediately tear it down. They have a school, and by the looks of it, because the school provides minus 16 clamour for reform, uh, we will actually... Just, just just destroying the school will bring them under, into the fold, let alone doing anything else. They've got plenty of dockyards. We've got Limassol, Antalya and Gaza. We do not need Alexandria as well. Sweet. So you will occupy Gaza. We've got a good selection of troops here. Plus a couple more. Yeah, don't have to push just yet. You're going to hold and we're going to build up our offensive line. So I do want to build up my fleets. Two more turns till we get steam engine. So let's keep my keep my upgrades going, really. Keep building out my ships. Keep pushing across North Africa because that's a potential easy get. I'm not quite sure where that fellow was going. I think you, yeah, you were going to sit up by Moscow. Yeah, there's a Dutch ship. I want to do more raiding of there. Well, I am going to do raiding of the uh, Dutch ships in port. Break their harbours, reduce their ability to recruit navies to fight against us, and where possible, steal the ships they do have. I want to reach a point where I am the preeminent naval power in the Med, so that entire threat axis into my territory does not exist. <laughs> they don't quite know where they're going to go. Good, 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 Georgia. I know we're allied with Georgia, that's okay. If you turn against us, we will attack you and destroy your capital. They will eventually turn against us, because that's what allies do on hard mode. 96,000. Bit of a protest. Brought under control. Upgrade the city. Build a trading port. Upgrade the dockyard to a dry dock. Send. Okay, maybe you are going to recruit two sloops. One to occupy Alexandria, one to occupy Gaza. Actually, Gaza is a military port, and generally I like to build um, levy units to hold military ports, military dockyards. So that's our Italian invasion force built up. Brig of War on a Razé. Razé? Razé? One or t'other. Dry duck. Three turns. Four turns to get a naval hospital, so. It's a full complement there before upgrading. Four turns to get to a dry dock. Excellent. So, craft workshop. Pleasure garden. Cotton plantation. Craft workshop. Craft workshop. Better roads and. I mean, if they like us already, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of resistance to foreign occupation, although I might upgrade you to a tavern. Okay, Lee arrives. Go up to Surat. Okay, you're replenished. Just we've got so much stuff to build. Antolia, trade port here. This 
blacksmiths and we want to upgrade better roads because we're going to transit or we are currently transiting them quite a lot actually i might mass down here because if i can build a good navy this threat of attack is cut off this commercial port might actually build a handful of jebex ready to sail over and start raiding ports then in india nearly at your full strength you will pick up this unit yourself then you will get aboard and sail so Hyderabad garrison troops so my general pattern is going to be four Hindu musketeers two Kizilbashi an Islamic swordsman unit and a gun unit so what's that one, two, oh no. Two, three, four. Black swordsman unit, two Kizilbashi, and a gun team. No great guns. We don't need great guns to defend our towns. It's going to take a while to get these guys up into position, but I think it's. Ultimately, it's the sort of thing we kind of need to have in our back pocket, so our assault plans aren't immediately thrown into disarray, needing to deal with invasions, and your navy can't really stop them, not entirely. Although you might go over here. Oh, okay, both these are occupied, sadly. Entirely sure why you're heading our way, but our agent has converted you to Islam. Armenia is being converted, so hello, Georgia. Actually, we've already got two of you. You're better off in India, but it's too late. You're already here. This agent can go up to Cherkask. You have to exempt them from tax because the religious unrest is going to keep growing. Good. Fertile ground for converts. Awesome. But yeah, a few of these, well, maybe two of these units might, maybe one actually will just push along, take Tripoli, take Tunis, take Algiers and keep opening up new front lines against the enemy. 10,000 in our pocket. See if anywhere. To be honest, we're not likely to get too many infrastructures need upgrading. Let's upgrade some of the military production on our frontier towns. Where actually? Oh, actually, that one alone of my infantry is coming from Satara. Bunch of infantry is coming from Mysore. Calcutta's not contributing anything, so they can instead have crews from dervishes just to bolster their defences. Yes, I'm going to like... Well, I, I can invade... Ooh, okay, they're, they're building up their navy because they know I'm here. But I can reach uh, the Italian peninsula from the eastern Mediterranean, so that's not a danger. Eventually, they will declare war on me. They'll, they will hate my territorial expansion enough that they will say, enough is enough, and we're going to come take you out. We want your lands. You're, so, you're too aggressive for us, so we're going to declare war on you. The irony. The Americas is going to be a bit of a sideshow, but that's okay. Yeah, they're going to have to maintain their garrisons at home. And Quebec is just building a hell of a navy. 101,000. Key thing here. Tech advance. Steam engine. 
Yes. Secular humanism. So you decided to go on to diamond formation. No, we might go for quick climb shells, but we can't really benefit from them. We don't get any units from additional machined rifling. You might go for power loom. Pattern there, carry on with selective breeding, but steam engines. My god. So if we hop over to India, suddenly, maybe not our, <laughs> our uh, uh, fabric working buildings, but our mines and our factories suddenly become significantly more profitable. And granted, people do hate us a bit more because of it, because factories are taking our jobs and so forth, but eventually they come around. So let's drop a whole bunch of money upgrading all of the mines, steam pump sugar mills that we can get our hands on, because we know we're going to need every single ounce of gold that we can squeeze out of our territory. I think that's probably all of it. Nope, gold mine right there. And in the south. Actually, it should probably be worthwhile to build a garrison here, because that's ripe for the United Provinces to try and take back. Okay, so it appears it's the water power cloth mills that are going to do the most good for us financially. Can you fellows leave Cairo? You can. So, the sloop can occupy Alexandria. Army. Begin the push towards Tripoli. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. We're not in a huge rush. Come on. Catch up. You can okay, you replace them on station here. You guys get back to India. It's now in the Eastern Med ourselves. Upgrade the iron complex, upgrade the commercial port. Starting to build up a fleet. Second rates and third rates are making their presence known, but that's we're not going to really care about that because we are I mean, across the board upgrading all of our naval shipbuilding as quickly as we can. Your Jebex don't have any freedom to move out of this port. So they think they've kind of blocked us in. That's not true. And over in the Americas, obviously we've got loads of buildings here we can upgrade because of steam technology. So let's go for the average yield gold mine. And then hit and turn. Don't worry, Naya Provinces. When we invade you, we will be gentle. All the recruitment to my garrison armies, which, like, to be honest, I could, it could have just stood up in each of my individual uh, territories, but I, I prefer this. I think it's more fun. They're aware of our naval build-up. And they appear to want to match it, but I'm afraid with three dockyards at full tilt, they will not be able to match it. Not in the end game. We've got three military dockyards working flat out. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, suddenly now Russia's got more front line it has to deal with. Not quite sure where all you fellows are wandering off to. 
where you're going either. You might actually be trying to go for the Barbary States. Possible. Yeah, the Barbary States know something's up. But the end is not... Well, they're not going to be able to avoid what's about to happen to them. Fifth Ray, they've added some other ships. God damn. That's a fleet. You could uh, you could take them out for darn sure. Got loads of firepower here. Okay, you may make ready. Can you leave Ankara? You can. So then, similar to other efforts. We're going to have a bit of a garrison here holding on to it, just to make sure. I have a good amount of industry here, actually. There's quite a lot of metal working here in Turkey. This is going to make us oodles of cash. So you might have time though before we well we can counter invade actually. You're waiting for heavy gun unit. Come on, didn't mean to do that. With our fourth right here, we can slip past the enemy blockade into Syracuse. see who they elect to bring down to us. Let's raid their lands, take position on the crossing, see who comes to meet us. It's too bad we can't dismantle it when we occupy it. I suppose that could be a bit trolly. Yeah, that's frustrating, but here we are. Build a Rajas Academy. So this fleet's going to go out to South America. For three first rates, a bunch of second rates, third rates. Good. Yeah, you can go here. This fleet's going to be. Just keep it out to sea so we're aware of the fact that it does exist. Now we can upgrade a steam dry dock. We can try and do that. Well, we can't do it here because we've already upgraded it to a naval hospital. But that's not a bad fleet of ships. Okay. Allow my troops with current orders to wander on. Let's see who comes down to push us from Italy. We may have stirred up a hornet's nest. But I think it will be worthwhile in the end. <laughs> Frantically trying to do the count to say, ah, no. Ooh, war fleet. First ship of the line, retreat. Retreat. It looks like their intention is just to scare us off of trade zones. Ah, no, they are, they are actually going to go after us. Hey, we won. God damn. So where are you going to go now, eh? Chicken. Think you're so tough? They're <laughs> they're, gonna, they're coming for us. 
They're not happy. Okay, so my fleet that was just in action. Uh, well, actually, my battle fleet is going to go chase down that Dutch fleet, and we're also going to send a large fleet in the med against that Dutch fleet that's blocking us. Keep on pushing, because you, you saw how quickly they deployed troops against us. Or how quickly they would like to deploy troops against us. They could be a danger as well. Yes. So I've upgraded dry dock to a steam dry dock. Five turns. There we go. My saw's upgraded. You're in command of my saw. You men a command of Satara. You men are in command of Calcutta. God, you men getting command of a bad made a bad. And I'm gonna do something similar again. And also Let's embark you guys aboard ship. Ah. Embark the agent. Yeah, it takes a few turns, but until we get some safe harbour in the Western Mediterranean, it's just super... It's a lot easier to just move your men and agents like so. You wander up to Paris, it'll take you forever to get there, but that's okay. Push up to the front. In terms of construction, lots of military engineer skills, but for the large part, that's going to be most of our military buildings built. With the boarding house to a brothel. You're all upgraded. Egypt wants a bunch of cash spent on it. Cool. Your guns are nearly here. So you're going to hold. We don't know what's going to be coming for us, although I could. Scout. Naples undefended, attack Taranto. Okay, push push Naples then. And then let's take our fifth rate, deposit it in Syracuse to prevent that port from rebuilding. Yeah, they seem perfectly aware of something's something's up, but now we've crossed into their territory. You men get come into port, repair, and request new ships. So first of all, you need to go looking. See, we can't actually see them because they're sufficiently into the into the fog of war. We can't actually do anything about it. But you men can now hop back onto your position. Awesome. And um, what we are going to do is take this navy and go try and bat down that Dutch navy there, which we should be more than capable of doing. We're someone more competent than myself in command, but here we are. Two second rates, two two second rates, two, uh, one third rate, a bunch of fourths and some fifths against one second, one third, and a bunch of smaller ships. 
go for him. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Mysore. Cheers everyone.